I'm Sarah Murray from the Wall Street Journal. We're here at the Wall Street Journal CEO Council with, Co with Commerce Secretary Penny Fritzker. Hi, Madam Secretary. Oh, thanks. Thanks for being Glad here. Glad to be here. So let's get right into what we were just talking about, this listening tour that's taken you to over a dozen states to talk to businesses about what's really weighing on them. And what are you hearing? What's the big thing that they're telling you right now? It's been so exciting. You know, over the last four months, I've been in probably over at least 15 states talk to hundreds of CEOs. Number one thing on their mind is trade. They're really interested in having more free trade agreements. They want assistance in getting their products you know, out to the rest of the world. They know that 95% of consumers and customers are outside the United States. It's not that they don't want to sell in the U.S. They love the U.S. market, but they also want to access the rest of the world. So that's been one of the top things that people have talked to me about. Second thing is skills. There's a real challenge to get a skilled labor force. Every CEO I've talked to has said they've had challenges making sure that they have enough people capable of filling their open jobs. So that's been an area, frankly, that the Commerce Department's going to focus on for the very first time. Now, throughout the Obama administration, sometimes the relationship between the administration and business has been, we'll say, testy. Do you think that? there's an opportunity to change that now, particularly in the wake of things like the government shutdown and the increased Tea Party influence on the Republican Party. Is this a moment? Well, I think that what, I think what the business community is coming to realize is that the administration is very much on the same page as the business community. We want to see greater certainty. We need the government to function. We can't have the kind of manufactured crises that we've had. Two, immigration reform, high priority of the administration, high priority of the business community. Investment in infrastructure, high priority of the administration, high priority of, uh, of the um, administration and the business community. So the, there's a corporate tax reform, another one, great alignment there. Investment in R&D. You go down the list of priorities, economic priorities for this administration, they line up with what the business community wants. And there has been some criticism lately about how the president treats his cabinet and how much he turns to them for guidance or kind of lets them run on issues. What do you think? I mean, do you think you have this space to advise the president and put forth initiatives and get things done? Absolutely. I, you know, my experience has been the president has been very encouraging. When I sit with him and talk to him about various initiatives or things that I think are important places to, uh, for us to focus, he's been very receptive. I get real support from the White House. So I think that um, my reality has been very positive. Great. Commerce Secretary Penny Pritzker, thanks for joining us.